Um, when I first put it on, it was surprising how real it seemed. Because on like a picture that you see on the screen, you actually feel like you're at this place, you're in this cathedral, and as you look around, the camera was with you, and so it feels more like you're there, and it was really cool to see um, art in a way that without going there, you can't really see anyway else. Yeah, I really liked the way that it put us on the spot, and it kind of was a, it was a fun way to learn, and it was a, in, very engaging, the lesson. Um, I thought it was really cool because we were able to actually be there, um, and we were able to tell the difference between Romanesque and Gothic. It was really like immersive, and as somebody that hasn't gone out of the country ever, and probably will never go out of the country, it's really cool to like be able to see stuff that I'll probably never be able to see in person. Um, during it, it was a little distracting when people around me were doing it, because I just saw them and how cool it was for them, and I just wanted to do that, so sometimes I didn't really hear what Mr. Nafki was saying. But afterwards, it's much easier to remember it when you see it through uh, the camera than when you're actually just seeing it on a picture. Yeah, it was really helpful for me. When I was taking the test, I was able to I was able to remember the 3D and how it was. It really helped me like gauge the difference between them. And when I took the test, seeing the pictures was a little easier to decipher which was Gothic and which was Romanesque because I had seen them almost firsthand. All right. Um, the lesson that you saw was a lesson that incorporated um, Google Cardboard um, and uh, Mattel's Virtual Viewer. The idea behind the lesson, which I've done a few years now, is to help students understand the cultural values of the medieval age. That's one of our um, core standards from our building, is that students need to understand um, how each different society through world history expresses their cultural values. So the lesson was designed for students to really walk away with that piece of information. So the idea was for students to understand the, the difference between Gothic and Romanesque architecture and to experience it in an environment where they felt where they could really see it and apply their knowledge. Because it's one thing to look at a slide or a book and say, oh, that's Gothic, or that's Romanesque. But it's another to actually be when you're in your traveling, when you're watching a movie or wherever, wherever you may find life to go, hey, I remember this. I can actually, I, I actually use this information to, in my life. So that's where that Google virtual reality came in, is it helped students feel the connection to the culture that they were studying and gave them kind of a sense of awe and piqued their interest to keep, to kind of drive home the, 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 the cultural value lesson that we were shooting for. I felt like it really contributed to the lesson more than it did like negatively, or positively more than it did negatively, because like you were able to see in 3D like what it actually looks like, and it really helps to differentiate between the Romanesque and Gothic like structured.